Hello you guys, welcome back. I hope you are all doing well and are ready to get in some yoga. Hopefully you guys didn't have any issues with the storms that we had last night because um, they were pretty crazy and they're only going to be crazy coming in the next couple hours as well. So hi Finn. Welcome Finn. Lenny's floating around. Hopefully uh, they will be good and stay out of the way. Yesterday's session, Finn thought it was a good idea while I was out on the deck to um, try to go after a bee. So that was always really fun. If you guys recall the spider incident where I was like, hold your place. Um, that's kind of how it felt with Finn trying to attack the bee. And I'm just praying that the tripod doesn't fall. So anyways, there's your, uh, your little morning story. So I hope you guys are doing well and uh, are all ready for some yoga. So if you are, make sure your mat is set up, come on down to the floor and go ahead and take a drink of your water because you know that's like my thing to do. Ugh, it's just always so refreshing. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and come down to the floor. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Bring your hands into your lap in a nice comfortable way. And then just go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it out through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale, push it out. One more, just like that. In. And out. Great job. Just let your breath come in and out through the nose. When you exhale, release your shoulders down your spine and just start to notice what's going on in your body. Notice where you're already holding in tension. Maybe you're holding it in through the legs. Give them a little shake. Let it go. Maybe you're noticing a burning in your low back just from sitting up nice and tall. We're not used to that. You can always take a pillow and lift your hips just slightly. Just take a couple breaths and just do a scan from the top of your head all the way down to your toes and just acknowledge what's going on, whether it is a good feeling or an uncomfortable feeling. that next inhale bring your left hand to your heart right hand to your belly and I want you to just really feel that breath going all the way to the base of your lungs and feel your entire front body expanding almost like you're an accordion opening up take a big inhale exhale let it go inhale Exhale, engage your abs as you breathe that air out. Make sure we're really utilizing that diaphragm. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Go ahead and bring your hands right onto your ribs here. And as we inhale this time, I want you to visualize really having your ribs press from one side of the room to the other. Take a big inhale, feel the expansion. And exhale, let it go. Engaging your abs. Inhale. And exhale. One more, just like that. In. And out. Great. You can release your hands down to your lap. And this time with our next few breaths, I want you to really visualize the front of your body and the back of your body and your sides completely expanding in all directions. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, let it go. In. Out. One more. In. And out. Great job. Go ahead and open your eyes. Give your body a little shake. And I want you to expand your legs out in front of you like you're creating the letter V. 
go as wide as you can. I'm uh, keeping my little shark because Finn's right there. <laughs> so take a big inhale, lift your arms all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, just fold forward. And it's okay if you're not, you know, flat to the ground. Just bring your palms to the floor. Feel your chest pressing forward. Don't just bend in your back here. Keep a nice straight back, chest lifted, and feeling yourself leaning into the pose. You can go ahead and flex your feet towards your face and tuck your chin into your chest. And just holding it here, focusing on that breath. Inhale, exhale, keep it going. With your exhale, see if you can sink a little farther forward, but no straining. We're still warming up the body here. One more breath here. Great. Inhale. Roll all the way back up. And I want you to take that left leg, pull it into your right thigh. And with your next inhale, we're going to drop that right hand down on the inside of the right leg, stretching it towards your ankle. Inhale. Lift that left arm up to the side. I mean, up to the sky. And then bring it over your ear here. Turn your chest towards the ceiling, feeling that nice stretch through your side body here. And with your next exhale, go ahead and reach that hand towards your toes here. Inhaling in and out, really focusing that breath into the left side of your body. Inhale and exhale. Two more breaths here. One more. Great, slow and controlled. Bring both arms up and overhead. Big stretch at the top. Exhale, release your hands down and we'll switch legs. Sending that left one out, right foot inside of that left thigh. Bring your left arm out inside of that left leg down towards your ankle. Inhale, open up that right arm above you. Exhale, send it over your ear. Turn your thumb to that back wall so you really start to engage in your uh, lat here instead of just causing compression at, compression at the shoulder. Focus on your breath. Inhale. And as you exhale, you see if you can fall a little deeper into that pose or create a bridge for your pets. Inhaling in and out. And we'll stay here for two more breaths. One more. Great. Inhale, slow and control all the way back up into center. Look up and exhale. Release your hands. Pull that left leg in, coming back into our cross-legged position here. Take your fingers onto the front of your knees, tucking them under your kneecaps here. Lenny's being extra lovable. With that next inhale, send your chest forward, bend at your elbows, looping those shoulders in towards your spine. Look up. Exhale, round. Pull your upper body towards that back wall. Tuck your chin into your chest. Tuck your tailbone under. Inhale, lengthen, come forward. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Two more with your own breath. Last one. Great. Come on back into that tall seated position here. Oh my gosh, this cat. When you're ready, let's come on to all fours, bringing your knees right underneath of your hips, your wrists right underneath of your shoulders, coming into our tabletop position. Now you can play around with having your toes curled under or keeping the tops of your feet flat onto the ground. Take a big inhale in, nice flat back, sending your gaze out past your nose. And exhale, let it go. Make sure you're spreading your fingertips wide, pressing into the knuckles of all 10 fingers here. With your next inhale, drop your belly, lift your hips, send your gaze forward. 
Loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Exhale, pull your upper back towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin into your chest. Tuck your tailbone under here. Inhale, lengthen, drop that belly. Exhale, round. Keep that going and just notice what position your arms are in. Are you letting your elbows fall out to the side or are you turning your elbow creases towards that front wall? The goal is to have them facing forward. One more here. And come back into our nice neutral tabletop position. Go ahead and curl your toes under if they're not already. Take a big inhale in. And as you exhale, send your hips all the way up to the sky. It's okay if you have a bend in your knees or if your heels are lifted. I want you to really press into the knuckle of your index fingers, turning your biceps towards the ceiling here. Inhaling in and out. One more breath here. In, out. Go ahead, bend your knees, look forward, step or walk to the front of your mat. We'll come into our forward fold. You can inch your feet closer together, release your upper body over your lower body and get a nice big bend in your knees here. Allow your head to just drop, tuck that chin into your chest and just breathe. Inhale, glide your hands all the way up to your thighs here. Straighten through your legs, straighten through that upper body and just send your gaze past your nose into our halfway lift. Take a big inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, bring your hands to your shins this time. Exhale, fold. Keep your fingertips on the mat if that's available to you and lengthen from here. Exhale, fold. With that next inhale, really bend your knees, slow and controlled, roll all the way up to standing. Straightening through your legs, through your pelvis, rolling the hips under here, and then rolling through the low back, mid back, upper back, Looping the shoulders up, back and down, lengthening through your neck and through the top of your head. Go ahead and open your palms to the wall in front of you. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose and out. Relax your shoulders down your back here. Really pull your thumbs towards that back wall, feeling your shoulder blades roll inwards towards your spine. One more breath here, in, out. Go ahead and bend your knees, send your hands down and draw a big circle as you stand all the way back up. Give me a slight back bend at the top and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant your palms down on your mat. Step one foot back. And then the other, shifting into plank, bringing your shoulders right over your wrists. And if you need to, you can always drop down onto your knees. Take a big inhale in. Turn your fingers towards the edge of your mat this time. And when you're ready, slow and controlled. Keep your elbows into your side and lower all the way down. Belly to the mat. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, press into your hands. Lift that upper body away from the floor. Feel your glutes engaged. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine into our up dog. Focus on your breath. Inhale. And with your exhale, open your knees as wide as your mat and send your hips to your heels. You can bring your big toes in to touch. Forehead down to the mat. Keep your arms extended overhead. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale, exhale, one more just like that, in, out, and just let your breath come into a normal rhythm, in and out through your nose. 
And you can dig your fingertips into the mat and help shift your hips towards your heels a little bit more. Really feeling a deeper stretch in through your hips. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And just focus on that breath. And bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. And with your next inhale, find your flow up to our tabletop position. Knees under your hips, wrists under your shoulders. Go ahead and curl your toes under. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, send your hips all the way up. Downward facing dog. Really checking in with where you're putting that pressure within your hand. Turning your biceps towards the ceiling here. Take a big inhale. And exhale. See if you can lift your hips a little higher and you can play around with dropping one heel and then the other, bending at the opposite leg. Just getting an extra stretch through our side body here. I mean through the back of the legs. You probably knew what I meant. Come back to stillness, holding it there for one breath. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Come into that halfway lift, and as you exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. I want you to take hold of your big toes with both of your hands and pull your elbows towards the side wall. You can keep a bend here in your knees so we can open up through that low back. And just tuck your chin into your chest. If you'd like to try to lengthen through the legs, you can attempt that. But just find something that feels good within your body. Inhale, release those toes, lengthen, come into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend those knees, big circle all the way up, slight back bend at the top. Next, exhale, bring your palms together right at your heart. Take a breath there. In and out. We'll do one more. Inhale, exhale, release any tension. Relax your shoulders down. Great, go ahead and open your eyes, step to the center of your mat. We're gonna open our legs wide, pointing your toes towards that front wall. Fix your clothes if you need to. <laughs> Take a big inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky, look up. And as you exhale, slow and controlled, keep your arms lifted above your head, send your hips towards that back wall, coming into our halfway lift, arms extended, holding it there. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, continue the journey down to that forward fold. Bring your hands down to the floor if that's available, or your fingertips. And just tuck your chin into your chest. Press your fingertips into that mat. Inhale, lengthen, lift your chest here. And exhale, fold. You can have a slight bend in your knees if you need to. Always find what's comfortable for you. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Bring your hands right onto your hips. Bend those knees. Inhale, slow and controlled. Roll all the way up to standing. Tuck that tailbone under. Roll through the spine. Lengthen through the neck and the crown of your head. Take a breath here. In and out. Great. Go ahead and turn your toes towards that front the front side of your mat or the right side of your mat is the way I'm going. I want you to lift onto the ball of that back foot. Make sure we're tucking that tailbone under. Notice how much my leg shifts as I do that. And that's okay. And if 
this wide opening is too much, step it in. You're still gonna get a lot of lengthening through those muscles. Find what's comfortable and appropriate for your body. Turn your hips so they're parallel with the front. And as we inhale, lift your arms up parallel to your ears. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, I want you to send your body weight forward, bring your belly to your thigh. Inhale, lengthen, press into that front foot, lift it back up. Exhale, send it down. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale. You can always bring your hands onto your hips if you need to, or you can bring them to your chest, palms together. Keep it going. Finding the version that's comfortable for your body. One more. All the way up. Send it back down. Hold it there. Bring your palms down to the floor. I want you to go ahead and lower that back leg down. Uncurl your toes. Plant your left palm on the floor. Inhale. Open that right arm all the way up. Focus on your breath. Big inhale, shift your body weight forward, take the pressure out of that back knee, and keep pulling your right knee in towards the center line. Inhaling in and out. Turn your thumb towards that back wall. And just focus on the breath. Notice all parts of your body that are engaging, helping you find stability within this pose growing strength throughout your body. One more breath here. In. And as you exhale, release that right arm down, framing that front foot. Send your hips to your heel. Curl your front toes in towards your nose. You can play around with the bend in that front knee, bigger or shallower. And just tuck your chin into your chest. Take a big inhale. And exhale, let it go. Come on to the fingertips. Inhale, send your chest forward, lengthen through your spine here. And as we exhale, we're gonna pull our upper back towards the ceiling, rounding, tucking your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. One more, in and out. With your next inhale, roll through that front foot, curl your back toes under, lift that knee off from the floor, step your left foot up to meet your right. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. Exhale, fold. Plant those palms, step your opposite foot back this time, and then the other, shifting into your plank. Take a big inhale, turn your fingers towards the edge of your mat, and as you exhale, move through your vinyasa. Slowly lowering, inhaling into up dog, and exhale, send it back into child's pose. Release your forehead all the way down. Focus on your breath here. And close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more. In. And out. Great. Just let that breath come in and out through the nose. And bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today.
with your next inhale, find your float up to our tabletop position. Curling your toes under, take a big inhale. And then as we exhale, step back your right leg, and then your left coming up into our plank, holding it here. Pull your abs into your spine. Spiral your inner thighs towards the sky. And just send your gaze out past your nose, lifting up and out of your shoulders. Take a big inhale and exhale. Focus on that breath in, out. One more here, in and out. Go ahead and you're going to step that left leg up this time. Framing that foot with your hand. You might want to step that back foot in just slightly, coming onto the ball of that foot, getting a nice big bend in this front leg. And when we inhale, we're going to send our entire upper body all the way up, arms up and overhead. Check your posture. Make sure your pelvis is tucked under, your hips are parallel to the front of that mat. Adjust the gap between your feet as needed. Take a big inhale and exhale. Inhaling in, and as we exhale, slow and controlled, send your belly towards your thigh here. Inhale, press into that front leg, lift your body back up. Exhale, send it down. Inhale up, or whatever breathing pattern works for you. Keep it going. Keep that pelvis tucked under here. And again, you can play around with where you want your hands to go. Really feeling that front leg working for you. We'll do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, send it up. Last one. Exhale, send it down. Bring your hands all the way down to the floor. Release that back knee down. Uncurl your toes. And go ahead and plant that right palm down this time. Inhale, open that left arm to the sky. Shift your body weight forward, take the pressure out of that back knee, pull your left knee into the center. Focus on your breath. Inhaling in and out. Smile, it's a beautiful day. Right now at least, it's sun shining and the birds are singing and it's super beautiful green because of all of that rain. Take one more big inhale, and then as you exhale, release that left arm down, send your hips to your heel, curl through that front foot, flexing your toes towards your nose, take a big inhale, and as you exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Come on to your fingertips, inhale, lengthen, send your chest forward. And exhale, round, pull your upper back towards the ceiling, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Really press into your fingers here. Keep it going. One more. In. Out. Hold it there for one breath. And then go ahead and roll through that front foot. Curl your back toes under. Lift your knee away from the floor. Step your right foot up to meet your left forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees. Big circle all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale, forward fold. Go ahead and plant your palms, step one foot back, and then the other, and move through your vinyasa. And you can play around with where your knees are placed. Maybe you want to keep them into the midline, sending your hips to your heels so we can open up through that low back, or you can keep them as wide as your mat, just like we practiced. Bring your forehead all the way down to the floor. Close your eyes and just breathe. And you can pull your hands back towards your shoulders 
or if your legs are into the midline, take your hands all the way back towards your heels, flipping your palm up towards the sky. Allow your shoulders to roll forward as you surrender here in this pose. And I promise soon we will join Finn in Savasana. He's been mastering that one today's practice. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. And with your next inhale, press your hands under your shoulders and then lift your upper body away from the mat. Pull your knees into center if they're not already there and send your hips to your heels. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. You can take a drink if you need one right now. And we'll move into our cool down phase. So again, sitting up nice and tall, bring your hands right by your sides, pull your shoulders around, looping them towards that back wall, lift your chest, tuck your chin back in space, and just focus on that breath. Inhale, exhale, use your abs to press that air out, inhale, this time as you exhale, send your body weight back away from you this time so we can stretch through our ankles here. Find your max and hold it there for two breaths. Inhale, exhale, one more in. And as you exhale, shift your body weight forward this time, curl your toes under and slow and controlled, send your weight in towards your heels, stretching through our foot here. If you've got too much pressure, just lift your hips up and away, just making sure that you're not causing any harm. So again, sit up nice and tall, loop your shoulders to the back. You can have your hands right on your thighs this time. Tuck your chin towards that back wall. Feel your entire head gliding backwards. Take a big inhale and exhale. Inhale, we're gonna sweep our arms forward up and overhead. Feel lengthening through the upper body. Exhale, release them down. Inhale, we're gonna lift our entire upper body. So shift your hips forward, lift those arms up. Feel an extension through your spine here. Exhale, slow and controlled. Send your weight back into your heels, release your arms down. Inhale, lifting. See if you can press your hips a little farther forward here. Exhale, release, slow and controlled. Inhale, send it all the way up. We're gonna hold it there. Find your breaking point. Don't go any farther and just breathe. Big inhale, exhale. Two more breaths here. One more. And as you exhale, slow and controlled, send your weight towards your heels, bringing your arms down. We're gonna send our legs to one side or the other. Come onto your bottom, bring your legs out in front of you. You might wanna shift to the center of your mat here. Again, sit up nice and tall. You might need to move the flesh of your buttocks out from one side or the other. Really focus on internally rotating. So think big toe to big toe, knee to knee. Bring your palms flat right on the floor and see if you can get a little extra length in your spine. Tuck your chin back. Focus on your breath. Inhale, exhale. This is a challenging pose. It starts to show us what compensations we're making. If your knees are bending, your low back is probably very tight right now. Take a big inhale and exhale. One more, in. Out, great, inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. 
And as you exhale, fold over your legs, catching wherever it's comfortable to you. Maybe it's your shins or your ankles. Maybe you'll grab the bottoms of your feet and just tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, send your chest forward, look forward. Exhale, release yourself down. Try not to roll in that spine. Inhale, lengthen, chest forward. Exhale, down. One more, in and out. Great, inhale, roll through that spine, coming into a nice tall seated position one more time. Give your body a little shimmy shake. Move your arms as you'd like. Move your legs as you'd like. And then I want you to plant the bottoms of your feet down onto the mat. Pull your thighs a little closer towards your chest here and wrap your hands around your knees so you can find that length. Inhale, nice tall spine here. Exhale, pull your knees into the center. Open your arms up, palms open to the sky. Take a big inhale. And exhale, sink it back, feel your abs engaged. Inhale, come forward, turn your palms so they're facing one another. And exhale, sink it back, lift your arms until you can really feel your abs engaged. Inhale, come forward, bring your arms down. And exhale, sink it back, arms up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Make sure you're keeping your spine nice and straight here. And creating this little micro movement right at your shoulder joint. Engaging the abs, strengthening your shoulders, strengthening your low back. Holy cow, you guys, we're doing it all. One more, forward, send it up, hold it there. Pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Holding and slowly release your upper body all the way down to the floor. Extend your arms out overhead, lengthen through your legs. Big stretch here. And as you exhale, pull your knees in towards your chest. Give them a little tug. You can close your eyes. And then hold here, just in stillness. Take a big inhale. And exhale, go ahead and release that left leg down. And then the right. And we can finally join Finn in Savasana. Release your hands down to your side, palms open to the sky. Take a big inhale in and out. And as we move into our final pose, this is our time to be still, be present, and just breathe. With your next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, bat your eyelashes open and close. And when you're ready, roll onto your side facing knee, use your arm as a pillow, and we'll take a breath there. Inhaling in, and out. With your next inhale, press yourself away from the floor, come on into a comfortable cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and tall, hands in your lap, eyes closed. Take a big inhale and exhale. Bring your palms together up to your forehead, inhaling in 
and out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhaling in and out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Just breathe. Bring your hands down to your heart. Inhaling in and out. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Be still. Take one more big inhale. And as you exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. I hope you are feeling better, feeling a little more stable and stretched out through your body. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Make sure you guys stay hydrated with all this crazy Michigan heat and humidity. Because, you know, it's insane. So, I'll see you later. Have a great day.